Good morning, everybody. Welcome on here. We sing about not being a slave to fear. I think that's a good song for us to sing today, seeing as our society at times seems to be overwhelmed by fear, uncertainty, strife, anger, hatred, division. These are the things that I would describe our society. Uh, That's how I would describe our society at times. And we that are in the kingdom of God are supposed to be people that rise above it. But unfortunately, we're human and we sometimes resort to our own human imperfections. And so today I want to talk about what God's plans are for you and I and how that's important for us to um, move forward in life. Uh, Shared yesterday something I thought was very important. I think we as a church and a community need to continue to pray for, pray for those that have lost. Pray for those that are in a position of vulnerability. That doesn't mean whether it's a person that's walking the street that feels unsafe, person in a hospital bedroom right now that feels uh, a tremendous amount of fear, whether it's someone that's charged with providing protection and yet feels an uncertainty and uneasiness about that. God knows each of our hearts and understands why we make decisions. And so what we need to do is continually let God refine us and help us to become the people that God designs us to be. Because if we don't, we could fall to our worst selves and do things that are not only a a grievous act to the Lord, but also do great damage to our families and to our communities. I want to share a a scripture that has been quoted many, many times over the course of the many years I've been in ministry. seems to be the go-to scripture when we're talking about plans and uh, purpose. And it was given to the prophet Jeremiah to the nation of Israel that had been exiled. And they were suffering under this Uh, exile and separated from everything they loved, their homeland. And God gives them a promise and a statement that was supposed to create a sense of um, peace in their hearts and minds. And I want to give this to you today as a devotional. Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. It says, For I know the plans I have you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you will look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. So here we have a promise from God and then an instruction from God. He says he has good plans for us. He says that he wants to see us succeed and not to fail not to find a disaster, but a future and a hope. In those days when there's a sense of hopelessness and uncertainty and your fears are, you know, coming closer to you and creating more confusion and worry and sadness in your heart, you need to know that God has a good plan, that you can overcome the disasters that you're facing that we can have a future and a hope. But here's the deal. In those days when you're feeling like life is closing in on you, then you need to seek him. He will listen. Pray is what he says. Seek and you shall find me. If you seek me with every part of who you are, you will find me. I know a lot of times people seek God, but it's usually out of desperation. And it's usually to have God meet a want in their life. They're sort of giving it a try because they've tried everything else. And we typically, we try everything we know to do before we even turn anything over to God. And it's, it's clear to me, I don't know about you, but it's clear to me that we make a mess of things a lot. 
in our society, in our country today. We're so divided. We're so uh, angry. And people literally hate each other. They can't even agree to disagree anymore. And it's because we're doing it the way we think. And what God is saying, trust in my plans, because I do have a plan. It's a good plan. You may not understand my plans, but it is a good plan. And if you really want to see my plan fully realized, then seek me. Seek me, not seek your own way of doing things, not seeking what you think is right, but approaching the kingdom, approaching the king, God, the Father, through his precious son, Jesus, who showed he loves us and cares deeply for us. And so we believe that as we do these things, God is able to help us and we'll, we'll succeed and we won't fail. And so today, as we look at our lives and we reflect upon where we're at, and I don't know where each one of you are at. Maybe you've had a great week. Maybe uh, this has been a, a scary week for some of you. You know, it's just a lot of uncertainty out there. And if you let yourself be consumed by the news of the day and by the environment of which you're living in, it can create so much negative energy in your life that you will be just paralyzed by your emotion. But in those moments where you're uncertain, I would encourage each one of you to, to reach to the Lord, to, to ask God for help, to seek Him, to pray, because He's promised that He will listen. And, and hey, you know what the best prayer is? An honest prayer. Not a prayer filled with empty words, but a word that speaks what's true in your heart. So if you're struggling in your faith, say, Lord, I'm having trouble believing. If you're struggling with some of the issues of today, say, Lord, I don't understand. Now, he may not answer it exactly the way you want, but I do believe he'll give you a sense of peace and strength, and, and you'll feel that presence that can bring uh, just a calmness to you. Um, that is how I'm getting through. This, this is not just uh, a doctor prescribing a medicine he's not taking himself. I have had to follow these steps in my own life. I've had to live this out. You know, as I pastor a congregation, a great congregation, but a congregation is filled with people with a lot of different struggles. And, and at times I'm like, Lord, I don't have the answers. I don't know what to tell these folks. It's in those moments when I'm at my weakest, when I turn to the Lord, he gives me the strength I need. And so I don't have to fake the smile. I can truly say I, I, I feel... Uh, positive about life. I, this week for me has been better than most uh, because I've, I've, I've just allowed the Lord to minister to me and help me. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm excited about being able to preach on Sunday. Now I know that I might have to preach to people wearing masks or, and I have to wear a mask and I know that can create a lot of uncertainty and uh, we typically get so wound up about things that really aren't that important. If I have to wear a mask, I was sharing earlier on, you know, one of the conversations I was involved in. If me wearing a mask allows me to share the gospel with more people, then I'll wear a mask. Uh, you know, Paul says, I've learned how to become all things to all people that I might win some. We as Christians, we need to learn to adapt. God's not left us. God's not going to forsake us. You know, sometimes we got to do things we don't necessarily want to do, but just keep trusting in Him and just keep letting Him be your source of strength. He'll get you through. All my guys out there, pastors that are, you know, leading your congregations, I, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> I have the same fears and anxieties you do about making the wrong statement, offending someone. But, you know, I think as we walk in fellowship with the Lord, He'll give us wisdom and discernment, and He'll help us through, and we'll get through this. I've seen God move. In spite of all these difficulties, I've seen him do some great things. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was at the food pantry, and we received a donation from one of the ladies that's involved in a, a group outside of our church. And she's recently attended, her and her husband, and she shared how much joy she feels about being connected to us and being a part of something that's doing great good. I think that's how we can help one another, by doing greater good. Going out and helping someone, encouraging someone blessing someone and um, praying for people. And I know that as we do these things, we're not only making a difference, 
but we're allowing God room to work in our lives. So I encourage you. God's got a good plan for you. He wants to see you succeed, not fail. Give you hope. Uh, and all you have to do is just talk to him. He'll listen and seek him passionately and truthfully, and you'll find him. And as we do these things, God is, is always present. I feel like the Lord is up to something. Uh, let's come along for the ride. Won't you join me? Let's pray. Father, we just thank you so much for your grace and mercy and love. Thankful, God, that you do have a good plan. Lord, a plan that will see us become successful, a future and a hope. Help us, O oh Lord, in those moments where fear and uncertainty would bombard our minds to seek you first. That, Lord, you'll listen, you'll hear, and we'll find you, God. And we will be able to overcome every obstacle that we face. And I just pray right now, Lord, for each one that's watching, give strength and guidance and direction. And, Lord, help us all to be sincerely, Lord, honest and willing to, to just follow you in everything we do. I pray, God, for the unrest in our land. I pray for those that have been harmed and those that have suffered hurt and loss. I pray for this family that lost, uh, Lord, a loved one in this terrible tragedy in, in Minnesota. Now, I pray God just bless and strengthen that family and all those that are involved, I pray in Jesus' name. January Amen. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Don't forget, uh, those of you that can, please share and, and like this and pass it on to someone else. Maybe it'll encourage someone along the way. We love each of you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. God bless.